Hi, I'm George, and I'm going to show you how to add additional sounds into Minecraft. Now, the gate normally has two sounds for opening and two for closing, and I'm going to be adding in a third one here. Just see what the sound's like. That's regular. That's regular. And there's the new one. Okay, let's see how I did that. And to do this, we need to get a few things set up ahead of time. First off, you need to have your new sound. I have one here, it's just called Rooster Crow. Now I got this as a download from Pixabay. Let me show you that. And it's right here and it's a free download site. It's mostly about images, but they do have sounds and some video as well. So right up here, I'm just gonna change the search here to sound effects. There we go. And let's just type in rooster. You can type in anything you want. And there we go, there's the Rooster Crow sound that I used right there. And it comes down as an MP3 file. All right, the next thing you're going to want to have is Notepad++. I'll be using that to edit these two files here, the pack.mcmeta and the sounds.json file. In this right here, I'll put all of these links in the description so you can get all those. Just click on that link to get to these pages. And you want the top one right here. Download that and install that. We can then open up these files. Now, we need to find out the right sound and how to set up the folders for that. And for that, you need to get the sounds.json file. And let me show you where you can find this. This is just a little bit tricky to find but I'll show you where that is. The first thing you need to do is to open up the Minecraft launcher. So up here, installations, and then down here, go to one of these folders to the right of the play button. And in here, you wanna go into the folder that says assets right here, open this up, and then go here, it says indexes, open this one up, and then open up the index for your version. And as you can see here, little icon right there, this is gonna be opening up inside of Notepad++, which is why I said you wanted to get that downloaded. So I'll double click on that. Now if it doesn't open up for you when you double click, just right click on this and open with, and then choose another app if you're not seeing Notepad++ plus plus right here, and then you can do a search for that. There you go, if you don't see it here, click on the space underneath that, that empty space, that opens up the rest of the list right down here. Then just scroll down until you find Notepad++. Plus plus. If you want it to always open up in Notepad++, plus plus, just put a check right there when you do that. Okay, so that's all set, bring that back up again. Now this is a list of a lot of files inside of Minecraft that are hidden inside of hash codes. But we need to find that sounds.json. Now, if you go over here, at the very top of the list up here, the first thing you see here are the lang files. Just scroll down, and the next set of files are going to be the sound files. You see right here, sound ambient. At the top of that, right here, it says Minecraft sounds.json. That's one that we're looking in, and that's the folder it needs to go into. And the way you read this is ignore this stuff over here to the left of that. Just start at Minecraft sounds, and then it says hash. And then it comes down to the next line right down over here. So it's this big long code right here that comes in after the name right there. So here's our code. And you want just the beginning of this. Just take a look at that first part. I'm going to right click and copy that out. And I'll put that into a notepad so you can just see it more easily. Here you go. And I'll paste that right here. And I'll make it just a little bit larger. There you go. Easy to see. And I'll minimize that. Just keep it out of the way for a second. Now you want to have this bit here because we'll need that now to find that hash code. And that's back up here to assets and come down to objects, open this up. You see a lot of these folders in here with just two letters and numbers at the beginning. And that matches the first two numbers in the hash codes. You want to have folder 43. So let's scroll down to folder 43 and that's way down here. There it is, folder 43. Open this up and then here, look for the rest of that code. So that's 438CA. So let's just kind of go down here. 438B, 438CA, and it's that one right there. That's what we need. Now just right click and you want to copy this. I'm in Windows 11 right now, so I have to come down to show more options and copy. There we go. And let's bring back up our working folder. And I have in here, I just named this PAX, I made it on my C drive, called it PAX, that's all that is. And then in here, right click and show more options and paste. If you're on Windows 10, it's just right click and paste. For whatever strange reason, Windows 11 just made things one click further away to get to. I don't know why they did that. Now I'm going to delete this one, get rid of that. That's what this is over here. So let's just rename this to sounds.json. Hit the enter key and there it is. We're all set. That's our sounds.json file. And this will tell us the names we need to have for our new sound file. Okay, you can close this thing down. We're done with that. And we're done with this. I'm not going to save that. And let's open this up and have it opening up inside of Notepad++ again. Now, if you're at the very, very top up here, like this, we're going to be replacing the gate open. So I'll do a search right here and find. And let's do a search. I don't want that. 
I'll just search for a gate and then just go down here is gate close and there's gate open right there. Okay, so we found our gate open. And you want to take a look at this stuff right in here. It's block, fence gate, open one and open two. So those are the two sounds that come with the program. I'm just going to copy this out just to a notepad so you can see where this is. Right click and copy and then I'll bring back up notepad and right click and paste. I'm just doing this just as a reference. Okay, that's so all I need to have here in this for the moment. We'll be coming back to this in just a second. So we have this file here, sounds and then block fence. Now what this means is that this is in the sounds folder. So our actual folder structure would look like this. Sounds block fence underscore gate and then the two files, open one and open two. Now we'll be adding in another one. So ours are going to be open three. These are all .org files, so it'll be like that. That's what we need to make. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll make our folder for that. So make a folder that says assets. Inside of that, make a folder for Minecraft. Inside of here, make a folder for sounds. And we'll place our sounds file here. Let me just get rid of this one. I'll do that in just a second. So inside of sounds, make a folder for block. You see that right here. Inside of block, make a folder for the name that you found for your sound you want to replace. We're doing fence gate. So that's a folder right here. And inside of here, that's where we'll be placing that rooster. So I'm just going to delete this and we'll then do that in this video. Okay, so we now have our folders all set up. And we know what we need to have in here for our new sound. Let's now go back to that JSON file. Sounds JSON right here. And it's still back at the same place. Now we need to add another line in here for this to work. Notice how the top line here, open one, has a comma after it. You do a comma after everything except for the last one. So we're going to need a comma after this one right here and then a new line and then I'll copy out this part everything except for that comma right click copy come down to the new line right click and paste and that has no comma and I'll just change this one to a three what this does is it tells Minecraft the names of the files that it needs to use when the gate opens which is what happens right here that's the code for the gate opening and it chooses from these and it plays these at random so you don't know which one's going to be playing but it will be one of these three you just want to change just the sound of the existing ones. That's easy. You don't need to do any of this stuff. You just change the AUG file. But we want to add a third option. And that's what we're doing right down here. And this has to be done in this file. So that's done. Let's choose Save. Close that down. We now need to put this over into that folder. So I'm just going to drag it over like that. Go into Assets. Drag it into Minecraft. And it goes right there. Right next to the Sounds folder. Okay, that's all the programming we have to do. Pretty easy. Let's now change this file into the right file format. So I'll get this out of the way and let's not save that and let's get this out of the way. Just minimize that. And for this, I'll be editing this in Audacity. It's another free program and it's perfect for doing this kind of sound editing for Minecraft. Let me bring that up and there's Audacity in the background. And the easy way to get this thing into the program is just to take your MP3 file and drag it in like that and let go and it opens it up. Now this is a stereo. For these short sounds, it doesn't really matter. But it's not a bad idea to change your sounds to mono for use inside of Minecraft. I mean, stereo on a door opening is not going to make any difference. So click over here, left-hand side. That selects your music track. Go up here to Tracks, and then Mix. And you want to mix stereo down to mono. You'll see it now on one track, and that's all set to go. We now need to convert this over into a .og file format. You may want to remove that space ahead of this as well. That really isn't needed in here. So it's just cut that out there we go and then file export export as OGG and I'll put this back inside of our packs folder so we can see it all easily there we go right here next to the assets and I'll leave it at the same name choose save and choose OK and that's now done all right let's go back to our packs working folder there it is and here is that new .ogg now we need to rename this to the correct name that we need inside of the game and I'll rename this one open3 like that. We now need to get this into the right folder. So I'm just going to drag this over here and in the Minecraft, into the sounds, into that block folder we made right there, and then into the fence gate folder right there. And there it is. So that's all now set. So we have our folder made and we have our sounds JSON taken care of and we have that new sound file all in the right locations. Next we need to have two things a pack MC meta file right here and a pack PNG file. This is just the image that shows inside of the list of resource packs in the game. You don't have to use this. You can do anything you want. I happen to have made this one with my spatial character on it. It's just a 256 by 256 PNG file. 
nothing special. Now they no longer include pack.mc meta inside the game, so we need to get this someplace else. I made this easy for you. I just put all the versions up on my website. Let me bring that page up. In this right here, I'll put this link in the description also, and simply download the version that you need. We're in 1.18.1, so I need the pack format 8 right here for 1.18. So download that and you're all set. And it's right here. Again, I have this opening up inside of Notepad++. Bring this up and in here. Make sure that the pack format is correct. If you download from my website, it will be. And then give it a descriptive name. I just called mine Add Sound, and that's okay. So we can now make our resource pack. And then simply grabbing that Assets folder, hold the Control key down, get the pack MC Meta and the pack PNG. Right click and compress to zip file. Add sounds, and this is if you're in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the top menu bar, click on share, and click on zip. Same thing. Let's now get this into the game, and for that, I'll bring back up the launcher right here and go back into any of these folders. Doesn't matter, they'll go to the same place. And here, go into resource packs, it's right here. Open that up, and you put it right in here. Now, I called the one in my demo add sound, so we'll be doing add sounds this time just to make it easy to see the difference. I'll just drag it over here and drop it in. There we go, that's now inside of the game. Let's close that down and let's get this out of the way. We're done with that. And we can now go into the game and test that out. So I'll click on play. You can install that right from your title page. Now I have my own custom title page here. If you want to find out more about how I did this, I have links for that in the description. But come down to options and resource packs. And here's the one I had as a demo in the game. Let's just get that out of there. That's sound singular. Let's now bring in our sounds plural, which we just made. There it is, add sounds, choose done. Now then load in that new resource pack and done. Single player and I'm in my main world right here. So it should now have three sounds on it. Those two regular opens and our new rooster crowing. They're gonna be coming in at random. I don't know which one's gonna come in here. Let's just try it out. That's a regular one. And there's the rooster. It's so gonna just random. And there's a rooster again. And I'll see you next time.